the fish. Just want to show you. <clears throat> I have one ceramic bowl here, completely dry. I'll be placing it on top of the carbon electrode. I have another porcelain bowl that has water in it that I'm going to be placing inside the second ceramic bowl. So we have ceramic air dielectric ceramic. We're going to be rerunning that experiment I did this morning just to show you that you know that there's no way that that HV is going to get through two layers of porcelain as well as an air dielectric and into the water which is another dielectric. But we'll show you what the coupling phenomenon does. So again we have the piezoelectric transducer element here that I made that I can um, show you again. This is the effect of pressing on it. So you can see the the delta. Sorry for the glare. It's not a good sign. There we go. So the delta from physical displacement. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'll activate the system and we'll get it up and running. Turn the variac back down. Activate the system. Get to about three quarter power. And just to show you the exquisite sensitivity of this piezoelectric element, I'm standing oh, approximately three or four feet away from the experiment. And you read the delta when I'm holding the piezoelectric stack towards that plate. If I do it here, so we're still getting some form of reading. If I approach the plate, you can see what the, we get really close, about one volt here, 1.2 volts. Okay, I'm just barely, I'm coming really close to contacting where there's a little bit of water there on the plate. About 1.25 to 1. 1.6, okay. Now I'm going to place the piezoelectric transducer in the water. And again, we're going to see what this shows. So it's overloading it. So despite what we have going on there. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this and I'm going to see if we can see any delta here. Uh, shoot light, there we go. So you're seeing the delta from the hitting it. it should take a second to stabilize. And it has. So the crystals, I think, are set by the HV until it's, the pressure is released. Then we see the overload again. Okay, so the transduction occurs, but the HV is capable of actually freezing those piezoelectric crystals into a certain conformation. And they remain that way until you dissipate the energy. So if I just sort of smack Okay, see a little bit of a change there at Delta. So now we've reset the crystals. Again, we'll place it in the water. It's tremendously sensitive vis-a-vis -vis the water. So this is all very fascinating. And I'm going to return to trying to put it close to the plate itself. So you're only seeing a maximum change even with putting it right on the high voltage on the high voltage table itself. You get it to short out to a higher voltage if you but it's really stuck in water right here too. So that is transducing through the water. And the transducing water on the electrode versus transducing in the water here with porcelain dielectric. So for what it's worth, it is really, really interesting how exquisitely sensitive piezoelectric materials are to HV influence. And water is a really, 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 really fine transduction medium. Really, really interesting. So all thoughts are welcome. <clears throat> Again, I'll do this one more time. Place the it's in the water. We're seeing quite a quite an oscillation. 
So somehow the electricity is either going through multiple layers of dielectric, just down here. And again, you see that's perfectly bone dry and there's no water. And those are two ceramic bowls, air dielectric, another ceramic bowl, and then water. So again, this just is to reiterate the potential intrigue of piezoelectric crystalline structures and fluids as a transducing medium for HV is quite extraordinary. Thanks for watching again, and more tests will be following. Have a great day.